ました。Captain Starlight live stream. Whoa, I am so excited for today's live stream. It's going to be such a fun time because I'm here with some very special people, Earthlings. That's right. Very special Earthlings. Lena and Sarah from Clothing the Gap. Say hello. Hi. Hey. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Planet Starlight. Wow. How is the red shuttle rocket up to our planet? Oh my goodness. It was so fast, Leans. It oh. was so, so fast. I'm feeling a bit woozy from it, actually. <laughs> you know what? Intergalactic travel will do that. It <laughs> but... really will. It was amazing, though. We are so happy to be here on Planet Starlight, aren't we, Leans? We are super excited to be here. Hey. Well, guess what? We're not alone. We have lots of awesome Earthlings from Australia streaming in live with us right now. Hello to everybody. Maybe you're streaming in from uh, planetstarlight.org.au. Maybe you're checking it out from Facebook. Or you could be, be heading over to our YouTube channel, Fun with Captain Starlight. Also, we have lots of really cool Starlight Express rooms tuning in. Hello, Captains. Hello, kids watching from a Starlight Express room. If you are near a Captain Starlight, make sure you say a big hello and get together some cool creative craft things, maybe something to uh, design a T-shirt with in a little bit. We're going to get to that. But <laughs> before we carry on in the stream, first things first, we love to do this. We would like to acknowledge and pay our respects to traditional elders, past, present and emerging uh, from the lands of Australia, from which you are all watching from. I can see we've got Monash here tuning in from Wurundjeri land. We've got the Westmead SER from Gadigal country. Maybe you're watching from Ghana country in South Australia, Larrakia country in Darwin. Hello, Darwin Hospital. A big shout out to everybody that's joining us on today's live stream. And we would like to acknowledge and pay respects to the traditional owners and custodians of the lands from which you're streaming from. Now, Lena, I have a question. Yes. You brought along a funky t-shirt. I did. Can we check it out? Of course. This is a personal favourite of mine. Um, so this is our honouring country tea. So you did a fabulous job of acknowledging all the traditional countries that everybody's tuning in from. Cool. Well, this is our honouring country tea, so it's got a beautiful acknowledgement on the back. Oh, wow. And on the front, it's also 
personally my favourite colour, pink. <laughs> pink is good. Um, and, you know, we, we love talking about the word honouring. So, you know, what does it mean when we, you know, dig deeper and think of the meaning of honouring the traditional lands in which we get to participate on? Wow. And I, I, I was going to ask, do you mind if we read out what is on the back of this T-shirt? Yeah. Do this you is mind fantastic. I'll hold, hold this little arm. Oh, thanks, Captain Star. <laughs> Thank you. You're doing a great job. <laughs> so the T-shirt says, we honour and respect Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples as the traditional custodians of country. Wow. Fantastic. And this is kind of a little bit about what we're going to do on the stream today because we're all about, um, you know, proudly representing our culture and getting our voices out there on the clothes that we wear, which is very exciting. It kind of connects to, you know, it's Reconciliation Week and we have a theme for Reconciliation Week. It's to be a voice for generations. I have a question for you. How do you think... Uh, young people out there watching can be a voice for their generation, maybe through what they're wearing? Absolutely. Great question, Captain Starlet. And a huge hello. My name's Sarah and I'm the co-founder of Clothing the Gaps. So for maybe for some of our incredible earthlings that haven't heard about Clothing the Gaps, because that's okay too, <laughs> what we are is we are an Aboriginal social enterprise, which essentially means that we use business um, to sell really cool pieces of clothing, Mm -hmm. that have merch that we call merch with a message. So all of our pieces of clothing have got something on them like Lena's um, Honouring Country T-shirt where you can wear um, these great messages out in the world that mm. tell everybody something that you care about or something about who you are. So when I think about what I can wear that can change the way that, you know, earth looks and feels for people. Mm -hmm. I love to think about the way that I can get dressed in the morning and do that every single day. So as a non-Aboriginal person myself, mm -hmm. when I think about reconciliation, I think it doesn't matter how old you are or yeah. where you live or whether you're on planet starlight or on earth, everyone's got a really great role to play in thinking about how we honour and respect Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, culture, history, truth-telling, stories, every single day. Yeah. It's just a really great time in Reconciliation Week to really think about how we do that and how we can keep doing it the whole way along. So some things might be around, you know, thinking about what country you're living on. So yeah. we've been loving, I see Westmead, you've let us <laughs> yeah. know that you're on... Um, as Gadigal country. Yeah, and then you've told us exactly where within the Gadigal nation you are, so that's awesome. So thinking about, you know, where you're living, because everywhere where we are mm. is Aboriginal land. So there's so many things that we can do. Oh, I can see Westmead have let us know Burra Madigal land. Awesome. Yeah. Royal Children's Hospital are here too. And thank you so much, Sarah, for letting us know about, yeah, Clothing the Gaps Foundation. My pleasure. And what you guys, yeah, what you do with your missions and, and the clothing that you create. I see you're decked out in Clothing the Gaps clothes here. <laughs> Whoa, it's some cool fits. Do you reckon some purple and yellow might make its way into some Clothing the Gaps Foundation I clothes? I reckon we might have to do a little Starlight, <laughs> you know, collab. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so much fun. Now, hey, um, to everybody watching, we're going to be getting into a cool craft activity. <laughs> As we mentioned, now's the time. If you don't have, check it out with your Captain Starlight nearby. A blank T-shirt or maybe a bucket hat or a tote or something and some things to create with. Uh, quickly grab them together now. We're going to start this activity in just a little bit. But first, I think I also would like to ask, you said some really great things about, you know, uh, respecting Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander lands and it's Reconciliation Week. I see that in your um, your merch, Merch for a Mission, you have an ally collection. Mm. For all the young kids out there watching, can you let us know what is an ally and and maybe how can you be a really good ally? It's a really great question. I always like to let Lene start off with this question. Lene, do you want to just introduce who you are and where you're from and what you do in the foundation as well? Yeah. Um, so my name is Lena and I'm a proud Yorta Yorta Gunai Kurnai woman. So my traditional country all the way back on earth is just above um, Wurundjeri country a little bit. So in Shepparton and also have really strong ties to my grandmother's country on Gunai Kurnai country, which is near Bairnsdale. And my role at Clayton the Gaps Foundation is the impact coordinator. So 
I have so much fun designing and delivering all the impact pieces that go out into the world. Amazing. Yeah. And when we're thinking about, you know, um, what allyship looks and feels like, um, especially within, you know, Clothing the Gaps, we've got, um, you know, ally-friendly messaging. I think when we think about what are those action pieces to do around allyship and not just during reconciliation week, but every single day, mm. it's, um, you know, like says said, um, you know, feeling invited into the space to know that it's important for everyone to support issues around Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander culture and also celebrate it as well. Yeah, of course. That's mm. fantastic. Oh, well, I'm so excited <laughs> to have you both here um, on our home planet, Planet Starlight. Now, <laughs> everybody who's watching the live stream is doing such a good job of sending us in uh, messages from what country you're watching from. If you have any questions for Lena or Sarah, send them through while we're making our T-shirts. <laughs> Kobe's let us know that they're watching from Gadigal country. How exciting. Hi, Kobe. Um, <laughs> now, I think it's time to get to it. Uh, what do we need for our cool um, activity? It's something to design on. So if you're in hospital with a side express room, maybe you can get in touch with the captain, grab yourself a T-shirt. If you're not, that is so fine too. Maybe you could etch your design on like a little piece of paper or something and maybe get some fabric markers or whatever close by. Malcolm says, go Collingwood. <laughs> go Pies. Go Pies. Hey, Sarah, what's your football team? Oh, my gosh. I'm a massive Pies supporter. <gasps> I know. So I'm with you, Malcolm. Malcolm. Go Pies. You've got a, you've got a Pies ally. Amazing. What about you, Lena? Uh, I, I don't actually follow AFL. I'm more no. of an NRL fan. <laughs> but, um, yep. But, hey, it's State of Origin tonight. Who do you go for in State of Origin? Queensland. Ooh, yeah. I'm blues all the way. So. Amazing. I go for the Planet Starlight Unicorns. Oh, my God. Yeah. I've heard they, they really get into it. They yeah. do really well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of doing really well, Space Computer, thank you so much for decking us out with these cool T-shirts yeah. to design on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now, we were talking before a little bit Oh, Catfish from Darwin also wants to say, go Pies! Ooh, <laughs> a lot of Collingwood supporters out there. Yeah, I, know. I'm, I feel like I'm with my people. <laughs> yes. This is epic. Um, now, we were talking about merch mm. with a message. Before we get into the T-shirts, what I want to know, when you were going to create a design with a message, mm. what should you think about? What are some of the things that you might want to say on the clothes that you wear? Yeah, I think, you know, and Leans has come from a, an earth session this morning talking about our Free the Flag campaign. So oh, cool. a couple of years ago, we ran a campaign called Free the Flag and mm -hmm. it came from this beanie that I'm wearing <laughs> actually, Captain Starlight. No way. So what happened was there were all of these really complicated rules around who was allowed to put the Aboriginal flag on oh, clothing. It was okay. absurd. It right. really was absurd. And we weren't allowed to do that because somebody else had the only rights to be able to do that. And we didn't think that that was very fair mm. or just. So we decided to do something about that. Mm -hmm. And we started what was called the Free the Flag campaign because okay. we thought that the Aboriginal flag should be free for everybody to use because it's an official flag of the country. Yeah. So one of the other reasons why I love Collingwood so much, <laughs> Starlight, is because <laughs> the Collingwood Football Club mm. um, and all of my Pies friends, how good's this? <gasps> they were super supportive and we made these T-shirts and they said, free the flag. Yeah. Because we thought the Aboriginal flag should be free. So we made T-shirts that said free the flag. So they wore all of these free the flag T-shirts and heaps of other earthlings wore all of the free the flag T-shirts. Mm -hmm. And then all of these people were having this conversation right. about what is going on with the Aboriginal flag. Right. And then finally, mm -hmm. the government decided to do something about it, but it took two and a half years. But every single time those people wore that T-shirt out in the world, mm -hmm. they were able to have a conversation about what was happening with the Free the Flag campaign and get more and more people mm. on board. Brilliant. So what we wear mm -hmm. can actually make a difference out in the world for things that we care about mm -hmm. and maybe want to see change. That is fantastic. So did the players wear the T-shirts live on, uh -huh. a, on a game? They did. We yes. ended up getting all 18 teams to actually sign on before the Indigenous round. So <gasps> it was High five. Pretty massive. High five. Forward being the huge. first one. That's epic. That's awesome. I know. So when we talk about creating merch with a message, mm. 
it all starts mm-hmm. with something that we care about okay. and want to see change. Right. Yeah. So, Lens, what would your advice be to everybody that's either in the Starlight Rooms or is tuning in from all across Earth today about when they're thinking about creating merch with a message? Thinking about something you care a lot about would mm-hmm. be like step number one. Mm-hmm. And then what we did with Free the Flag, it's, you know, we made sure we picked really catchy words. So when we came up with Free the Flag, people knew exactly what it was and it was really catchy and it sent a direct message. So nice and simple and clear. Yep. yep. Something simple and clear. So maybe, yeah, we pick one thing that we really care about mm-hmm. and that could be something that we start our design and with. And it could be Anything. 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 Tuna milkshakes? I'm obsessed with them. (laughs) They're the best. To be number one tuna milkshake. Yes. (laughs) Playing Tiggy? That's one of my favourite games. Brilliant. Uh, Well, I think I'm very passionate about my planet, Planet Starlight. Um, And as you uh, are here witnessing, it's all yellow. So I thought (laughs) maybe I might draw a bit of a yellow star planet on my t-shirt to get us kicked off what do you think everybody watching along the stream at home can you let us know in the chat what you're drawing on your piece of paper or maybe what you're drawing on your piece of clothing even just let us know something that's really really important to you maybe live on this live stream we can incorporate (laughs) All the children's ideas Ooh, from planet Earth down I in Australia. Love this idea. How cool would that be? Oh, um, but before we carry on, Mewtwo <laughs> has a very important thing for me to do. And Mewtwo is very powerful. Oh. Ooh. I just want to give a big shout out to Harper. Hey Harper. Hi, Harper. <laughs> um, nice to have you here on the stream. Harper, let us know what are you creating? All right, I'm gonna draw my big star. All right. Oof. <laughs> What are you guys thinking of making? What are you drawing there, Sarah? I am going to make a T-shirt about, um, so it's Reconciliation Week now, mm-hmm. but it's NAIDOC Week very soon. Right. And the theme for NAIDOC Week is um, for our elders. Okay. And I'm going to make a T-shirt that says Respect Your Elders. Because Perfect. when I think about all of those incredible, important people in our worlds that hold all of that really special information and the memories and, you know, like our grandparents and those, you know, those important people in our world. Mm -hmm. I think they deserve lots of respect. I think you're right. We have a Nana, actually. Nana Nana Starlight. Starlight. Nana Starlight is famous on Planet Starlight and she takes really good care of us and makes sure that the captains are all on mission. So you couldn't have said it right. Our elders are so important. They are so (laughs) important to making sure that we are all thriving and having fun. Amazing. And what do you think, uh, Lena? What are you making on your T-shirt? Um, I absolutely love our honouring country collection and the message that that sends to people. So I'm going to do an extension of that. And I think, you know, when we honour country, one of the things that is primarily used is gum leaves as a signifier for honouring the traditional land. So okay. I'm going to do like a cute little set of gum leaves and see where it goes. Oh, amazing. That sounds beautiful. Now, I've heard from the Darwin Hospital that they have drawn a Carlton football club and a big heart and all their names over it. And butterflies as well. Oh, my goodness. Butterflies are so beautiful, Darwin Hospital. Okay, you know what? We have glitter butterflies that fly around up here on this planet. So, Darwin Hospitals, I'm going to put a couple of glitter butterflies. I'm going to use the gorgeous colour pink and draw some butterflies on our little planet, Starlight. That sounds fantastic. Now, I have a question for you, Sarah and Lena. I see in this amazing beanie that started Free the Flag, Mm -hmm. you have the flag with red, yellow Mm -hmm. and black on it. Do you maybe want to help us and everybody watching? What is so important about the colours red, yellow and black for the flag? Yeah, um, I absolutely love that we get to wear merch that means so much every single day and yeah. that everybody's got the opportunity to do that too with lots of different through lots of different things. Lynn, do you want to talk about the colours of the Aboriginal flag and what they mean? Yeah. Um so red, yellow and black is um they're very meaningful colours mm-hmm. to Aboriginal people. Um obviously because it's the colours of the flag. So 
you know, we talk about black representing the people, we talk about red representing the earth, and then the big yellow circle that smack bang in the middle of the flag representing the sun. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. And for our friends that are tuning in from the Darwin Hospital, the person who is um, very famously responsible for creating the Aboriginal flag, his name is Harold Thomas, and he's actually a literature person, and he lives in Darwin. So there you go. There we go. Now, my T-shirt is a combination of all things that people from planet earth are wanting christine oh has sent in can you add a smiley face to the shirt christine Ooh. it would be my honor because you know what something that's very important to us captain starlight is silliness jokes fun pranks all so right. christine thank you very much for that suggestion i'm gonna do a big old smiley face it kind of looks like the planet has come to life here, which is really cool. Keep letting us know in the chat, everybody, what you're putting on your T-shirts or maybe you're creating a tote bag. Ooh. Ooh. So many different ways yeah. to... We talk about you wearing your coat. values. <laughs> great. And being mm -hmm. able to use what you're wearing to talk about what you care about mm -hmm. or what you... Yeah, what you want to see in the world. So it's a little bit like for the people who have been really excited about football, yep. it's a little bit like when you go to the footy and you want to show everybody who you're barracking for and who you're supporting. Mm -hmm. You wear your Collingwood jumper or your scarf or your beanie. I see our merch as a little bit like that out in the world. So when I get dressed in the morning, I'm telling the world who I'm barracking for yeah. and who I want to see win the game. Amazing. I, I love mm -hmm. that. It's kind of like when we're running around the hospitals on planet Earth. You know you're going to run into a Captain Starlight when you see a big baked potato with <laughs> running legs of a silver cape coming around the corner with the ukulele. That's it. Rose has let us know that she loves these T-shirts. Thanks so much, Rose. Let mm -hmm. us know if there's anything else we should be putting on our T-shirts. I've got the beautiful yellow planet, a big smile from Christine, some butterflies as well. This is super, super cool. Where's your tuna shape? Oh, you're right. I'm going to make a tuna shake. But you know what? We love games on these live streams. Oh, my gosh. I love games. We love games too. Lena, Sarah, I have a question. Would you like to play a game? I'd love to play a game. Yes! <laughs> and we're going to play a game with everybody watching to use the chat function. Maybe you could use the emojis if you're on planetstarlight.org.au. We're going to be playing a game called What's the Logan? Oh, Okay, so check this. We have an Earth Museum of Awesomeness. My gosh. Where kids from planet Earth, Australia specifically, send in really cool pictures. And I have, with the help of Space Computer, made some t-shirt designs. And Ooh. I'm going to need everybody's help to guess what slogan matches the t-shirt submitted by these kids. Um, Space Computer, what's our first t-shirt there? Okay, so we've got what's logo and this beautiful picture sent in by Emma. Thank you so Yay! much, Emma. Emma, you're amazing. If you think Emma's t-shirt underneath the picture says, my pet koala Joe, <laughs> hit the star emoji or let us know in the chat. Uh, if you think it is a piece of my heart, Aww. hit the heart emoji. If you think it is cute gula, hit the rocket emoji. I wonder what it could be, Captain Starlight. I know. Um, it's very, very cute little koala. How, how cute are koalas? Koala and how koalas. special that koalas are Australian. And just for our country, how beautiful is that? So special. <laughs> um, if you think you have an idea, let us know. Darwin Hospital's asking for magpies. So okay. I'm going to get into the magpies as we're playing. <laughs> How's your magpie in growing skills? <laughs> <laughs> it might turn out looking a bit like a crow. Okay, so Taj is thinking star. I saw Kobe was thinking star. Catherine's thinking rocket. Mm. What do you think, Lena? Yeah, Lena. I'm thinking star. Right, for uh, my pet koala Joe. Because if it is someone's koala, I'll be one very excited to hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how, I wish I had a pet koala. Oh, me too. What do you think, Sarah? Do you think it's my pet koala, Joe? A piece of my heart. That was so cute. I want to say it's a piece of my heart. <gasps> oh. And what makes you think that with this picture? I, it looks like the koala is holding something. Mm. Is it a lollipop or is it? Is it is, I wonder if it's actually in the tree. Ooh, I, don't, I wonder if that's a tree. Ooh. All right, Space Computer, I think it's time to dun, share dun, the, dun. the result with the audience. Everybody dun, dun, watching, dun. drum roll, please. <laughs> it's a piece of my heart. Sarah got it. Yay. 
Sarah. Hi, Ted. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so good. Uh, should we do that one more time? Oh, oh, we've got two more submissions. Yes. What have we got next, Space Computer? Oh, Miles, thank you so oh, much yeah. for this. Loving all the animals. Beautiful work, Miles. Now, Miles, <laughs> the slogan is either cat love yellow, <laughs> under the rainbow, or meowton. <laughs> that is a beautiful drawing, Miles. What do you think it could be? Lena, what do you think? Meowton. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a mountain, but, but full of cats. Meowton. What a mountain. That would be Lena's favourite mountain. Yeah, a it really would. Is, I almost drew a cat on my shirt today. Is that your favourite animal? Oh, one of many. I love all animals. Oh, they're so cute. I'm obsessed with little snails because they're so weird and goopy. Yeah. <laughs> and when you touch them, man. <laughs> Can you do your best snail impression? Uh, uh. <laughs> what do you think, Sarah? Uh, Ooh, what were my options again? So it's either Meowton, yeah. Cat You Love Yellow, or Under the Rainbow. I'm going to go with Cat Love Yellow. Because there's a lot of beautiful yellow going on in that picture, Miles. Ooh, uh, ooh. Christine is thinking the same. Uh, Lorenzo is thinking Under the Rainbow. It mm. does kind of look like a bit of a rainbow there. Mm. Um, uh, I'm gonna go. Hmm, I'm gonna go mountain to to spice it up a bit. Oh no, under the rainbow. We haven't guessed under the rainbow. I'm gonna okay. go under the rainbow. What Who is the winner? Okay, drum roll. Cat love yellow. Oh. Whoa! Oh. Yeah. Is that two for two, Sarah? Two for Sarah. <laughs> Not that we're keeping score, everybody. <laughs> You're a pro at this. I really love Planet Starlight. <laughs> <laughs> You're a winner here. You're a winner. <laughs> you also really love slogans. Look at this amazing T-shirt you're creating. Oh, no. Respect your elders. I love it. Very, very funky. Do you want to slide it across? Sure Let's show everybody. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Ah, oh, straight on the shelves. That's should we? It. Should we have a look at the last one? Whoa. Ooh. Would you like to read out these answers, Lena? We've got Mount Fun, Purple Blob Monster. Or colors galore. Ooh. Ooh, colors galore. That sounds kind of fun. Lorenzo said, "Oh my god, so cute!" Um, hey, Lena, can we check out your your gum leaves? Sure. I just finished the last one. That That's looks beautiful. beautiful. Nice. What? Check this out, everybody. How gorgeous yeah. is that design? Wow. Ten out of ten. I'm liking the placement. Mm. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's like over the heart. <laughs> yeah, that was that was purposeful. <laughs> okay, uh, send in your answers, everybody. We got Darwin Hospital voting for Rocket. I can see, which is very exciting. We got Taj saying heart. Uh, Space computer, what is the answer to Sunbeam's design? You get a colour and you get a colour. Everyone gets a colour. <laughs> uh, very important question, girls. Yes. What is your favourite colour of, like, all time? Pink. <laughs> How quick? <laughs> Couldn't have said it quicker. Do you know what, Captain Pink. Starlight? I've just realised why I think I love Planet Starlight so much. Tell me, tell me. It's because my favourite colour is purple. Yes. yes. I know. Same. High five. Yes. You get a purple. Beautiful. <laughs> These t-shirts are looking fantastic. Now, I have a question. Yes. Uh, hopefully everybody's making their t-shirts down there on planet Earth. Kids, we want to see the designs that you've made. You can submit it on the play space so we can hang it up in the Earth Museum of Awesomeness Yay. on planetstarlight.org.au. If we see a really cool design, what's kind of the process to make it into a fully fledged piece of, of clothing that gets into a shop. I know. Well, that is exactly Cute. what I was busy doing down on Earth today, Planet Starlight. No I was out at our factory. Right. And we do very, very, very similar to what we're doing today. Yeah. Where, but instead of colouring it in one by one, like I'm doing with my with my T-shirt, we mm -hmm. have a huge machine mm -hmm. that paints the ink on for us. Right. And it spins around. It's got a giant Shit. arm. Yep. I know. And it spins around and it does all of the colours all at once. And that's what we call screen printing. 
Cool. I know. So we do a lot of screen printing. It's very fun. But what we do is pretty. We we come up with a something that we care about, like Lena said, that mm-hmm. we want to see change, and we want, or we want to see more people talking about in the world. So when we made Lena's t shirt mm-hmm. honoring country tea, yeah, we wanted to see more people. Shall I hold it? Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Captain Star. That's Lena. okay. We wanted to see more people thinking about how they do an acknowledgement or how they honor country, and be able to let people, you know wear an honouring of country around every single day. So then we thought about, we're like, how does this look cool? Because mm. that's important. Mm-hmm. That's it's fun. Got yeah. to, it's got to look cool. So then we thought about, we mapped it out on, instead of drawing them, but on a computer, we used a, a program to draw it out on the computer. We played around with it. And then we go and ask all of our friends and family, would you wear this? Would you wear it in this colour? Would you like to see it like this? And then finally we end up on a design and then we share it with our beautiful friends that help us make it. Beautiful. This is epic. This Annoying. is very, very funky. Wow, that is such a good process. Lots of different people have a voice in the clothes that you all are making. They do. Which is fantastic. Wow. Hey, you know what? Should we share what we've created with everybody on the stream? Yes. Yes. (laughs) Okay. um, I'll go first. I've made... A beautiful little shirt here. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Christine, for the for the smiley face. I've got the Planet Starlight. A magpie from Darwin Hospital oh, is wow. right up there at the top. I've got some flowers and some, some beautiful butterflies. Oh, Kobe Wiggle wants me to add grass. You know what, Kobe? I'll get to adding grass. Well, maybe. Lena, do you want to show us what you've created? Yes. Oh, hope you can all see that. Yay, Leans. That's beautiful. Wow. There's some cute little gum yeah. leaves and some cute little meeting places for people to come together and connect on country. Beautiful. Is that what this symbol means? In yeah, the these place? cute little pink ones. Did it in my favourite colour, of course. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Gorgeous. That's so beautiful, Leans. I really like that. Here's my – I'll put it over this way. I can hold it with Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Woo-hoo. Check it out. Respect your elders. Beautiful. Um, yeah. I think respecting our elders is super important. And I did it in my favourite colour, purple up the top. Yeah. And then I thought I'd use Lena's favourite colour as well. And it's nice and bold. Like and then yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a bit of yellow for Planet Starlight. This is yeah. epic. Oh, yes, we made it. Our colours. Yeah. What, what, yeah. How does one respect the elder? Is it all about opening the door or is it all about making sure they've got plenty of cookies? How all can you respect things. your elder? I think sometimes as well it's about it's about listening. Listening. We not just by turning on our, our beautiful listening ears, but also mm-hmm. listening with our hearts yep. and our brains yep. and thinking about what they're telling us mm-hmm. and what we should do. Perfect. Um, and when I think about respecting elders within the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander community as well, Captain Starlight, yeah. I think about prioritising learning from them as well. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. That is such a great idea. Wow. You have shared so many awesome ideas. I've learned so much from having you both blast up to our planet. I cannot wait to wear this around. Nana Starlight's gonna love it. Yay. Taj <laughs> says, cool, I lived in Newcastle. Uh, I pay uh, with for my respects as well. That's Aww. awesome, Taj. Thanks, Taj. Thanks, Taj. What a legend. And your legends. You're a legend. It has been so much fun <laughs> having you here. And I'm sure everybody watching down in Australia thinks the same. It's been a lot of great fun. And we want to see all the cool creations that you've created. Now that our planets have collided, planet Starlight and Australia, planet Earth, maybe we could show you some designs or something. Yes, please. We would love that. I'd love to see all of them. Yeah. And before we go, uh, Clothing the Gaps, now you guys have come from planet Earth, Mm -hmm. so you have Australian shops. Where can people find you down on planet Earth? Yeah, so you can find us in Brunswick, so in Victoria. Mm-hmm. Um, we have a store down in Brunswick, but everybody can hang out with us anytime online. So if you oh Google God. Clothing the Gaps, you'll find all of our cool merch with a message. Cool. And then because we're a business with a purpose, mm-hmm. just like you guys have a really cool purpose too, we support the Clothing the Gaps Foundation, which is the awesome work that <laughs> Lena does. So Lena spends a lot of time in schools and different community groups. What do you do at schools and things, Lena? Mm. Oh, one of the best things that I get to do in schools is play traditional Aboriginal games, which is super fun. So we use things like mangrooks and possum skin cool. and, yeah, teach that, you know, our people have been playing sport for a really, really long time. Ooh, that's awesome. High five. Games are the best. Yeah. Maybe everybody watching will see you down on earth. But speaking of 
um, we're probably out of time for our live stream. And and I know you girls have to get the late uh, red shuttle back Whoa. down to planet Earth. Can I just say thank you so much for visiting us today. Oh, thanks for having us. We've had the best time. <laughs> and um, yeah. So excited. So excited. <laughs> Don't forget, you can also, we have another live stream coming up in two weeks' time. It's the Bubble Laboratory. Woo. So many bubbles. So tune in for that when that comes up. Uh, also, you can check out our, our, our YouTube page, our TikTok, all of them fun with Captain Starlight. I reckon maybe we should make a really cool TikTok right now. What do you think? Yes. Yes. Always. <laughs> Always. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And we'll see you around on Planet Starlight. Bye. Bye. Peace.